Custom Scales The Harmonist effect is a pitch shifter that intelligently shifts the pitch interval based on whatever key is defined within the preset. There may be times when your song requires an interval other than a straight major minor. So for that reason, you can create your own user scales. Here's a really simple demonstration that will walk you through setting up your own five part harmony patch that will use a straight interval harmony in effects block one and user scales in effects block two. I've worked out some chord shapes where the notes below the tonic don't necessarily follow a strict interval. I started by selecting the harmonist in effects block one and have selected the two note stereo mode. I've set the harmony one parameter to an octave below my note and a level of 30. And for the harmony two, I've dialed in an octave above with a level of 30. The pre-delay and feedback is set to zero for both harmonies. Now let's set up our user notes. Press the effects two block and rotate the dial to select the harmonist effect. Now I'm using the C major A minor scale as my key, which only has whole notes to make it easier. So we won't have to worry about sharps and flats. Also, for both harmony parameters, you need to rotate the dial all the way clockwise to select user. When you do this, you will notice an additional page that will appear for each harmony. Now here on the screen, you'll see the notes that I'll be using, so it'll be easier for you to follow when it comes to actually entering them in. The top line represents the actual notes that I will be playing, whereas the line directly underneath is the first harmony, and the bottom line is the second harmony. We'll start by entering our first harmony line, which are the notes highlighted on the screen. Press the right cursor button to display the user harmony grid. The column on the left represents the notes that we'll actually be playing, so press the cursor down to highlight the column on the right. Use our written grid as a reference and start entering notes. Starting with the C, our harmony is the A below, so I'm rotating the dial anti-clockwise to access harmony notes below my tonic. Press down to enter our harmony for D, and so on. Once you have completed all of the first harmony, press the right cursor to access our second harmony notes and use the grid that is on the screen as a reference. Once you have done this, you can save it as a quick preset to recall in any patch. Just press right, and then the effects block that has your user harmony. Here, you can give your preset a name by first pressing the display mode button. Then, press the right button again to execute. It's also important to remember that if you do choose to use this preset in another patch, to first set the same key that the preset was created, in this case, C major, A minor. So there's a few things that you should know about when you're using a harmonizer. And the first thing is the harmonist effect will not make your guitar in tune. Okay, you need to make sure your guitar is properly in tune to begin with. Otherwise, the harmonizer won't know which notes to take as the correct pitch. Secondly, have your guitar professionally set up by a guitar tech. Now, you know, the intonation, which is uh, basically where the bridge saddles are set, uh, has a huge impact. If they're incorrectly positioned, you may find that, for instance, an open E may not be the same as a 12th fret E or a 24th fret E. Setting the intonation correctly makes all the notes um, correct right across the whole fretboard. So, you know, if it's if it's not set up properly, you may find as you're playing the harmonist up the neck, notes will start to falsely trigger because it is not sure where to take the actual pitch from, whether it's slightly flat or, or slightly sharp. So 
have your guitar set up and uh, then you'll get the, the best out of the harmonizer itself. Another thing that's quite important for uh, correctly triggering notes within a harmonizer is maintaining a good strong input level. If the input level of the guitar is too low, uh, the harmonizer may have trouble detecting what the note is, so it may start falsely triggering notes. So make, make sure you've got a good input, input level coming from the guitar without it actually clipping or, or distorting the actual front end of the GT10. Okay, so we've We've created our five-part harmony patch, but there's a few things about this patch uh, that are crucial uh, in making it sound good. Uh, the first thing is where you're placing the harmony blocks within the effects chain. Now, if I just go into the effects chain for a moment. Okay, so because we've used effects block one and effects block two within the, the patch here, if I was to place both effects blocks within the series part of the chain, the harmonies from effects blocks one would directly feed into the harmony notes of effects block two, uh, therefore giving you basically a, a mess of notes. So uh, effects block two won't know which notes to take as its as its harmony notes. So um, chances are it's going to sound pretty awful. So what we've done with this patch is actually place them within the parallel part of the loop. So you can see we've got effects block one running in channel A and I've got effects block two running into channel B. So I've used the same preamp for uh, for this patch on both channel A and channel B by using the dual left and right. So basically um, I've got the same amp signals feeding each effect block, therefore giving you a clean sound into each effect block. Um, you know, basically the only other things I've done is maintain fairly uh, conservative levels of, of harmony. So the effect level of each harmony block, I generally run between 25 and 50 and that gives you, you know, the, the most natural sounding harmony notes.